So imagine also Sprech Zarathustra is playing right here. This is my second process video. Uh, kind of what you need to know here is that I have a brand new web camera and for my setup it is super JPEGy. Uh, I've got a lot of artifacts when I move quickly. Obviously I don't move this quickly. I've kind of sped everything up to about 800% to try and get this video down to a really watchable limit. I was shooting for five minutes, or sorry, I was shooting for four minutes, uh, but even with some really judicious editing and some speeding up a couple sections to 900%, it uh, still came in at around five, a little over five, but that's livable. Uh, what I'm doing here is I've got the sketch that I did that my client approved. I printed it out using the light board, and I'm inking over it. I use 0, 03, 0, 05, and 0, 08 Pigma Microns mostly for my inking. On this particular time, I didn't do pencils, uh, which I do sometimes if I want to do a lot of cleanup between my sketch and my uh, final drawing. But my sketch is pretty tight this time, so I was able to go right in. That's a uh, Pentel Jelly Roller. It's a white one. Uh, when the inks are dry, it's great for going back in and adding a little texture, uh, kind of back in, kind of carving out some of the blacks. And here we are over in Photoshop. That's the scan. I use the library tool to drop it over into Illustrator and then run an image trace on it so that I can clean up all my lines real nice. Uh, there's some artifacts where I'm left over to the point where, like, I get those blobby eyes and I kind of usually go in and redraw them. It comes in in a uh, kind of a four color CMYK black or a, not a true rich black so I end up doing a step that I cut out of here where I changed all the blacks to like super black and then I kind of go in this is the uh, Mac, not manga this is crosshatch one of the crosshatch brushes from Kyle Webster great tool it's part of everybody's Photoshop subscription You can see where it says layer five, you should say drawing that. That's my black and white stuff. I set that layer to multiply and then I color underneath it like this. Good fast way to kind of get your colors in if you're doing kind of a really black and light line heavy illustration like this. That crosshatch brush again. I really like it. I've been using it a lot lately. It gives a little texture to some of my things. I can go a little nuts with it sometimes, and then I actually end up coming back in and taking out a lot of it. I thought in this particular case it looked really nice having a lot of that kind of crosshatching in the call out right there. And you won't see as much of it in the rest of the illustration, but that kind of gives you the more detailed like, focus area. And then for smaller things like this, uh, if a lot of other illustrations where the characters are up close and central, I'll do a lot of variations on shadows and kind of some texture in their bodies. But when these guys are real small and kind of minor elements in the illustration, just kind of give them a lot, a lot flatter color. Uh, as you can see, still some uh, shadow depth in there. I'd like to point out that this entire illustration was ink drawn, colored, and uh, shipped off to the printer before the Ever Given got stuck in the Suez Canal. So, you know, we're a little ahead of the, uh, the, the game on as far as being timely. Here I'm just kind of coloring it. I'm using a lot of secondary colors. I'm using, you know, my, my warm colors in there, my, my reds and my blues, and then the green is kind of my call-out color. So I have, like, the green on the foreground boat and the green on the background boat near where the sign is, and they are uh, tertiary complementary to the blue and the yellow-orange.
I cut out some of the playing with type because nobody really cares. And there you go. That's the final product. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a question, or, you know, get in touch with me and hire me for any of the uh, your illustration work. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.